Hi everyone, uh, this is Kan Nishida from BA Publisher Product Development Group. Um, so today I'd like to show uh, the most amazing, uh, one of the most amazing features of Oracle BA Publisher 11G, uh, which is a reporting um, of interactivity. So we call it interactive viewer. Um, there are three amazing and then exciting things. The first is a pure web user interface. So there's no client side install or anything to have that interactivity with your reporting data. And the second thing is to make that interactivity enable, you don't need to have any custom coding or scripting behind the scene. So it just happens. Um, third, that each component, as you see in this picture, uh, each chart, or table, a list of parameters, everything just linked, uh, automatically linked via the BI Publisher smart linking engine. So again, there's no uh, custom programming or anything. It just happens. So let me show you some quick demo. So now I log in to BI Publisher 11G. Uh, this is the home screen. And I find this one SFO passenger report. Uh, let me open this report. Uh, this is um, <clears throat> the report about the passengers. I downloaded this data from SFO, uh, as you see, uh, by the year and by the type of the um, air travel, either domestic or international. And it shows the number of the passengers trend uh, comparing to the previous year and also the divide uh, categorized by the destination where the airplanes are going to, um, also the top 10 airline companies, and which boarding areas uh, or, um, is being used, and also the passenger, number of the passengers change compared to the year before. So for example, I'd like to know more about the international, uh, this chart right now is showing 72%, um, uh, which is 235 million people are traveling, uh, going to the U.S. But if I select the international, now more almost 50%, uh, half of the traveling folks are going to Asia, or actually coming from Asia or going to Asia. Uh, the second largest group is that Europe, and which has 20 million and 23%. So now you see the trend, and I'd like to know more about this year, for example, so the 2010, and then the number uh, goes up, and uh, towards the end of the years goes up a little bit. But when you look at the number of the passenger change uh, towards the end of the year, it's pretty much uh, it's growing uh, now number of the folks are traveling. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to look at the whole years. Uh, you remember the 2008? Uh, 2008 was the year that nobody really wants to remember. Uh, after the Lehman shock, uh, the people stopped traveling, people stopped spending money, therefore the economy went down. Uh, you can see that change clearly in this chart. So like for here is a zero, and anything you see going towards uh, bottom is a negative numbers. So now if go, coming from 2008 and 2009 uh, started coming back, they call, uh, uh, the number of the, the people who are traveling uh, out or in the San Francisco International Airport uh, um, coming back. And when you look at the 2010, uh, it's pretty healthy. And then when you look at this second chart at the bottom, the top 10 airline companies, uh, United Airlines showing significantly um, having a lot of passengers carrying around. Uh, now, it's, I think this is um, <clears throat> a third of the passengers uh, grew, so which means international and many domestic. So when, you, when I look at international, still the United Airlines is the number one airline companies, um, then other companies. And then uh, I think United Airlines, let me take a look at United Airlines. So here I'm going to select just United Airlines uh, from the list. And then now they, if you use the United Airlines at the San Francisco airport, pretty much the, the chance is that you're going to use the boarding G area uh, to fly out. And maybe like a, a little bit uh, of the chance like you take the F. So is that different, for example, compared to 2006? Um, actually, let's say like United Airlines, uh, 
it's pretty much the same, but there is an E. So it's kind of interesting, depending on the year, the boarding area slightly uh, change, but that sort of makes sense um, here. So now, uh, this is, the, uh, like, you can basically, the interactive view, the idea is you can dig in the data you have, and you can explore the, uh, the data in the report, therefore you can get more insight. Uh, so that's the um, amazing functionality of the interactive viewer that comes with the BI Publisher 11G. And also, uh, lastly, um, this is um, this demo is showing all the charts, but as you can see, I have also the table at the bottom. And this table is really to give you sort of like you expect with Excel kind of interactivity. So for example, if I like to see uh, the only the 2009 data um, instead of the, all the years, sorry, oops, uh, 2009, and then I can select only the 2009. And for example, if I like to see only the international, so like I like to um, select that, and I can get that only the international data. And while I'm doing here, it's all the uh, charts are also impacted by. So right now, like I have the only uh, <coughs> 2009, and also the United Airlines. So if I take this United Airlines out, so now like I have all the um, different airplane company as well. Also, I can do the sort. So for example, like if I like to see the account or the number of the passenger from the top, I mean from the biggest numbers to the lowest number, I can do the uh, sorting as well. So that's the interactive viewer, Oracle BI Publisher 11G.